Y'all remember that song that goes, I did it my way, right? I don't know the words. I don't know the lyrics, but, you know, there's a lot of people out here that's walking around, beating their chest, you know, full of pride, puffed up, and even arrogant because they they have this chip on their shoulder about doing it their way, right? I didn't follow after mom and daddy. I didn't, you know, I didn't follow after nobody. I did things my way. You know, they call them trailblazers, right? I, I, I created my own path, my own lane, you know, and 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 this was this was all me. I ain't had no help. I ain't had this. This was all me. I didn't follow nobody else's footsteps. I didn't follow nobody else's plan. I did it my way. You know, people like that. I'm so thankful on today, y'all. I just wanted to come on real quick and just share with y'all why I'm so thankful on today. You know what I'm saying? Because it is Thankful Thursday, right? Leave a comment down below what you're thankful for on today. I'm thankful for, man, that God is in my life and directing my life and I'm not following my own way. Now, sometimes I may get in my way. <laughs> you dig? But... I'm so glad I'm at a point to where I'm not just doing what I want to do and not just following my own way. You dig? Because when I did that before, did did what I want to do and follow my own way, it's always got me not where I wanted to be. Or it was always a letdown or not this, you know, whatever I expected it to be or how it to turn out, right? And so, you know, after a lot of loss, after a lot of heartache, after a lot of just unnecessarily going through, you know, taking 40 years to get there when I could have been there in two weeks. <laughs> I'm glad I'm at a place now to where, you know, I'm really, really trying to follow God's way for my life and not my own way. You dig? Have you dealt with that to where, you know, you've been trying to do things on your own and, and you had a plan, right? You had it planned out. You had you strategized. You know you knew when you were going to move, how you were going to knew you were going to move, and the reasons why you were going to move to get to where you wanted to be. Right? Whether it's whether it was college and schooling, whether it's your family and having children and getting married and all that, whether it was you know promotion on the job, um, whether it was moving to another city, <laughs> whether it was you know deciding to join a church. Whatever it may be, whatever your plans and my plans were, right? For me, whenever I've tried to move in my own strength, in my own power, in my own understanding, you know what I'm saying? My own, my own gut feeling instead of praying about it, seeking God about it, asking the Holy Spirit, you know, what he thinks about it, which way I should do things, it's always turned out not the greatest, right? Sometimes it might've turned out good in the beginning and then it fell off. Or it might've, you know, been, you know, just kind of average so-so, right? And it never peaked out or it never, uh, uh, there wasn't this huge excitement like I imagined or thought it would be. Have you ever experienced that? You know, maybe you was trying to start a business and you had all these dreams and hopes and plans and then, you know, things might've been going good at first and then it kind of peaked out, right? Or it was just kind of blase, blase and it's, you know, you, you're, it's going along, but it wasn't what you expected to be, right? A lot of times, this is what we do. <laughs> we make plans, <laughs> right? We make plans to be with a certain person. We make plans to work for a certain you know, company, we make plans to live in a certain area or in a certain house, right? We want to make so much money a year and we make all these plans. And then whether they work out, but not to our expectations or whether they don't work out, right? What do we do? We still yet plan. We still try again. We go back, we try to do it again. And when it we get the same result, which is not the what we're expecting, but we're getting in the result of incompletion or distraction or not getting done or failure or, you know, 
um, doing stuff over and over and over and over and consistent roadblock, consistent door close, consistent not meeting the expectation. Why don't we think about including God? Why don't we go to God and say, God, what's your plan? I've been doing this for a minute here and it don't seem to be working or it seems to be roadblock of the world block or it's or just there's something that seems to be happening, right? Whether it's me not being focused or whether it's things outside that are bombarding me. God, what's going on? And we, it seems like we put God on the back burner. It seems like, you know, we'll ask this one first and we'll go seek advice from that one first. And we'll look on YouTube to see what this person says before we go to God, before we go to our father, our savior, our master, our cover, our protector. Right. And so. You know, I was just thinking about that, like, you know, the plans that we may have, that we may desire, that we may seek after and wonder why they don't come to pass. What, what is it? What's stopping us? What's the roadblock? Is it sin in our life? Is it um, an unrepented heart? Is it, you know, uh, not walking in, in the gift of the spirit? What is it? Well, I got a scripture we're going to talk about. All right, y'all. The scripture we're going to be coming from this morning is Proverbs chapter 14, verse 12. You dig? Proverbs 14 and 12. And it says, there is a way. <laughs> you dig? There is a way which seemeth right unto a man. But the end thereof are the ways of death. Okay, Proverbs 14 and 12. There is a way. We make many ways. We have many plans. We, you know, we have many directions. You know how that, you know how that saying is, uh, there are many ways to God, right? There, there are many ways to, to, to God. But the scripture says, but the end thereof. The, the end thereof of those plans, they lead to death. They lead to destruction. They lead to not. They lead to nothing. You did? What plans have you made that have led to nothing? How many times and how many plans, how many schemes, how many strategies, how many programs, how many ebooks, how many this and how many that have you tried and it's led to nothing? You did? When are we going to ask God what his plans are? Because his plans is what matters most. And while we're talking about that, can y'all please do me a favor, man? Please hit the bell notification so you'll always be notified whenever I upload content. Please subscribe to the channel. Please like this video and share this video on all your platforms with everyone you know. I greatly appreciate it, right? It'll help the algorithm. It'll let YouTube know that you're interested and it'll send out more invites to more people. I greatly appreciate it, y'all. I was thinking about how many parents out there, right? They they try to plan, they have this plan for their children. I mean, from, from the time they're born, right? Okay, I, I, I'm starting this college fund. Okay, and then we're going to... We're going to have them, they're going to be in this type of school and we're going to raise them in this kind of environment and I want them to be this or I'm going to raise them to be or I'm rearing them to be or I'm pushing them or, you know, I see they're really skilled in this area. So this is the area that we're going to focus on. Make all these plans. And sometimes they may work out in the beginning. <laughs> But then how many times do we know children change their mind? Oh, I don't want to do that no more. I'm not interested in that no more. Even if they go, even if they're doing it for, for our sakes and they go to school and they get graduating, get these degrees and all this kind of, and then they get in these fields. But lo and behold, years later, come to find out, they never liked it. That was never interested in it. They just did it for you. Mama, daddy, I just did it for you. That's never what I wanted. And then you, you got to bear you know, the shame or the guilt or the weight of, wow, you know, it was all about me. They did this for me and this never what they wanted. 
and then half of their life is gone and you got to bear that. You dig? How many times have we done that? Try to make plans for something or someone and then somewhere down the line, it didn't turn out. It didn't work out. Have you ever experienced that? You know, I do what I'm supposed to do. I'm not a bad dude. You know, I'm kind to people. I'm nice to people. You know what I'm saying? I try to help out when I can and where I can. You know, I try to consider others and be thoughtful of other people's feelings and what they may going through, what they may struggle with. You know, I try to be considerate, right? Um, <clears throat> I don't try to, you know, wrong nobody. I ain't trying to, you know, scam nobody and, and, and manipulate nobody, right? I'm not, you know, I don't have this arterial motive to try to get over on nobody, right? I don't have this attitude that it's all about me and and how I can benefit, right? And I'm not considering and thinking about nobody else. No, I don't walk around with that kind of attitude. I'm not intentionally out here trying to hurt nobody and, and, and get over on, on folks, right? That's not my intention at all. My grandma did raise me with some respect. She did raise me with some morals. You dig? I do understand that there's a bigger picture than just me. Is this your outlook? Is this your attitude about things? Life exists outside of just me. You dig? So I'm not oblivious, you know, to other people and 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 other things going on in the world, in this universe, in this country, in this state, in this city. You dig? I understand that life doesn't revolve around Levon says. But yet, in all of that, in all of my living kind and humble and peaceable with all men as much as possible that lies within me, no matter what I plan, no matter what I seek, no matter what I desire, right? No matter uh, 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 what I pursue, no matter what I conquer, no matter what I triumph in, no matter what I accomplish, no matter which way that I decide to go, decide to move, decide to not move, decide to fly, decide to run, decide to drive, no matter which way, just because it seems right to me, doesn't make it right right? Just because it seems right to me. It seems like the right thing to do. It seems like the right move to make. It seems like I'm doing a good thing and a just deed and I'm helping out and I'm lending a helping hand. It seems like, right? But is that way God's way? Because God says, I have a way, right? But are you seeking my way? God says, there's going to be many people that's going to say, Lord, Lord, I did this and I did that. And I, and, and, I, and I spoke these things and I healed and I cast it out. And he's going to say, what? Depart from me because I never knew you. You never sought me to find out what my way was. We never had a relationship so you knew my way. Our attitude is supposed to be our way will please the Lord, right? That's what we're supposed to be working towards, that our ways would please the Lord. If our ways are going to please him, it's because we're doing his ways. We're not doing it our way because our way will seem like it's right, but it won't be God's righteousness. It'll be the world's way of doing things right. And that's not what we're here for. We want to do things his way and not our way, right? Without God, it's going to lead to death. It's going to lead to poverty. It's going to lead to destruction. It's going to lead to heartache. It's going to lead to downfall. It's going to lead to failure. It's going to lead to not. Without God, it's going to lead to nothing. Don't care which way you decide to go, which way I decide to go. It's going to lead to nothing without God. You dig? There's many out here that's 
claiming to be living their best life. You know what I'm saying? Claiming to, you know, they just, they just doing their thing. They getting that bread. They going after the paper. They getting the bag. You know, they being bosses. They leveling up. They they they're taking vacations. They're their trips. And they're buying jewelry and watches and nice cars. They doing it. They living their best life, right? There's many out there right now. They're saying this is what they're doing. This is their way. They're not doing it nobody else's way. They're doing it this way. Holler at me in a few years. Holler at me later on down the road. Holler at me because I guarantee your way, it will lead to destruction. Look at what's going on in the world right now. Look at what's going on in the, in the entertainment industry from someone doing things their way. And now look what it has led to destruction not it has affected so many other people because you're doing it your way the world's way instead of doing it god's way now tell me are those people are they truly doing things their way and living their best lives now so listen, I just want to thank you guys for joining me on this So Thankful Thursday. You dig? I'm thankful for you. I hope you're thankful for me. And please remember to like and share the channel, right? Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment on the video. And I'll see you in the next video. Remember Lamella E. Love, uplift, motivate, inspire, learn, laugh, encourage, and enlighten. That is this channel's purpose. And I'll see you in the next video. One love. Your man, LeVon, I'm out.